Hi everyone, this is Ashley. Today we're going to be learning about the differences between nouns, verbs, and adjectives. So here are our definitions. A noun is a word that is a person, place, or thing. And a verb is a word used to describe an action, state, or occurrence. And an adjective is a word used to describe another word. So here are some examples here. So a noun is a person, place, or thing, like we said here. And some examples is a boy and a scooter. And a verb is an action word or something you do. So like this girl right here is jump roping. Then we have an adjective, a word that describes. So we could call this cupcake sweet or delicious. Now there are three different types of nouns that you should know about. So first we have proper nouns. Proper nouns are the names of specific people and places, names of the days of the week and months, organizations, and a ton of other things. So like William Shakespeare, we have William and Shakespeare because it's a first and last name, so they're capitalized. And everyone dislikes Monday mornings. Monday would be capitalized because it is a day of the week. Then we have common nouns. Common nouns are nouns that are used to denote a general category of people, places, or things. So we have the boys went to play cricket. So that's the game. These are the nouns, which is the boys, the people, and this is the thing. The neighborhood is a place. Phone is a thing, and coffee is a thing. These are common words we use. Then we have abstract nouns. Abstract nouns are the names of things that we cannot perceive through our five senses, which are touching, smell, seeing, hearing, and tasting. <clears throat> she screamed with great delight. His bravery in the war won him a medal. We cannot see bravery, and we cannot see delight. Now these are our three types of verbs. We have action verbs, which tells what action something or someone is performing. Linking verbs, which connects a noun or a pronoun with a word that identifies or describes it. And helping verbs, which are added before another verb to make it a verb phrase. And these are three types of adjectives. We have descriptive adjectives. Some examples are the size, color, shape, taste, and all sorts of other words that you could use to describe. Then we have quantitative adjectives, which are numbers, truly. So all, no, few, many, and little. Then we have demonstrative adjectives. This, that, these, and those. Here's an example. So we have the boy walked to the giant park. The boy is our noun. Walked is the verb. And giant is an adjective. And if you want extra credit, you could also say that the park is also a noun because it is a place. The boy is a person. Walked is an action, and giant is a descriptive word. The, to, and the are none of them. They're just words. And here's a video. We are here today hoping to catch a glimpse of a very special creature. I have been waiting for several hours now in the hope of seeing an amazing newt vibrating. Unfortunately, there has been no sign so far. Meet the astonishing newt that actually vibrates. It is said that this incredibly rare creature can help you to remember the difference between an adjective, noun, and verb. Excuse me, but I am the newt that vibrates. See? Amazing! But how can you show me the difference between an adjective, noun, and verb? Amazing describes me. Adjectives are describing words. The A in amazing is the same as the A for adjective. A newt is a thing. A noun is a thing. The N in newt is the same as the N in noun. Oops.
sorry about that. <laughs> it's awful embarrassing. Vibrating is what I am doing. A verb is a doing word. The V in vibrating is the same as the V for verb. Wow! Amazing! Newt's vibrating. Adjective, noun, verb. Thanks, Newt. You are amazing. All right. So now it's a good way to mem memorize the difference between adjective, noun, and verb. Amazing, newt, vibrating. So as a reminder, a noun is a person, place, or thing. A verb is an action word. And an adjective is a descriptive word. All right, hope you have a great day.